banished from Earth Classic Game Room broadcasts from the Intergalactic Space Arcade on its never-ending mission to review everything. Welcome back to Classic Game Room Broadcasting from the Intergalactic Space Arcade, which has a Pac-Man machine and a Missile Command machine right behind me. But you know what this shot is really missing? A millipede. Let's go fix that. Push! Hey, we need a minute. Push! <laughs> Move it into place now! <laughs> I will give you the game com. Push no, harder! Push harder! I can't stop. Now I have a millipede. Ho ho ho, it's Atari's 1982 sequel to The Incredible Centipede. But is it better? Let's find out here on Atari Week. Which was like a week ago, but you know, who's counting? Millipede is timeless good fun. It's like Centipede, but with a whole lot more. More bugs, more enemies, more insects, more stuff on screen waiting to kill you. Millipede is a challenging game, and one that's been ported to numerous game systems like the Atari 2600, but the original with the trackball is the best. You freaking break, Millipede! I prefer to collect arcade machines that not only look cool, but play best as an arcade machine. Games like Centipede, Millipede, Missile Command, Road Blasters, Arkanoid, even Pac-Man, they're hard to duplicate on a home game system. No way in hell I should have made that. There's just something about standing there, playing a game like Millipede, with the trackball surrounded by the light up Millipede sign and the beautiful artwork. I love Atari cabinets from the early 80s. I like Millipede a lot, but I'm not sure if I like it more than Centipede. There's more things on screen and added complexity, different ways to score points. Centipede is one of my all-time favorites. Millipede may take a good thing too far, but then again it may not. It really depends on what mood I'm in. I will say that I love the cabinet with the Atari logo right in the middle there, flanked by speakers. It's not in stereo, but it looks super cool like it could be. Gameplay-wise, Millipede is very similar to Centipede. You're blasting the Millipede as it descends on your cannon. But there's more stuff trying to kill you, like those things crawling on the bottom of the screen, and also more ways to score points, especially when the game starts raining death on you from the top. If you shoot the little worm thing, it'll slow down the game. The DDT cans will explode and take out a lot of enemies if they're nearby. The spider is, once again, a complete pain in the ass, but worth big points. And then there's mosquitoes and all kinds of other crap flying at you. Millipede's awesome. Like Centipede, you don't get a lot of points for the actual millipede or the mushrooms, it's all of the other stuff that gives you points, especially shooting these spiders up close or shooting a lot of things during the bonus rounds. Those add up quickly. It's pretty easy to get some extra lives in millipede, and that's nice because you'll need them. Now this particular arcade machine is in good shape, but not great shape like my centipede, so the trackball's not quite as smooth. The screen's not quite as good, but it's still an excellent arcade classic that I'm proud to have and play often. I would say the scoring in Millipede is about twice that of Centipede. It's about as difficult to break 200,000 points in Millipede as it is 100,000 in Centipede. How do I make it through this? 
although at some point it just overwhelms you. I think it's a beautiful arcade machine. If you're looking to collect one for your home arcade to collect an old school 80s classic, I would consider Millipede. It's one of these games that never gets old, and the artwork is beautiful. It doesn't look quite as cool as Centipede, but... Personal preference, they're both excellent games to have. So there you go, from 1982, it's one of the best games ever created. It's Millipede from Atari. Highly recommend it, of course. Uh, this High score, come on, give me the high score. Just in time with the extra life. I'll take it. Cheap, but I'll take it. Oh, and I blew it anyway. Damn it. <laughs> ah, cheers to you, Millipede. That was a good game. And a great beer.